Welcome back guys, it's thrift flip time. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking several little trays that I had picked up at the thrift store and giving them a second life. Let's go ahead and get started. So I have three trays here today. The first one is this small Pampered Chef tray that I had found. Um, the only thing I can see that's wrong with it is it has this blue stain across the top. The second one is this wooden kind of beat up tray, but I love the shape and the graininess and kind of like older feel of it. And then the third one is this, um, it was part of a two set that I had taken the bigger one and I made into like my Hocus Pocus scene. I love how that turned out. So that's just, you know, if you don't need a tray, but you find something, you love the shape of it, you love the look, you love the feel, you can turn it into something else. Um, you can paint it up, you can make it a wall piece, put a little wreath in it, um, do some wording, anything like that um, is a great alternative. Sorry if you hear my daughter, she is upset because she is awake, so no one told her to wake up. She did it by herself. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so I have this tray part of that set that I just need to clean up and give a makeover as well. So as I start with anything, I take all of the tags off of everything and I give it a really good cleaning. With the Pampered Chef one, I cleaned it up really well and then I took some sandpaper and when I tell you I lightly, I mean, I barely touched the surface of that and that blue stain came right off. I cleaned it up really well and it looks brand new again. I put this on Marketplace while I was still doing the other trays, I mean within like 10 minutes of me finishing it and it had sold. So it was a great find. <laughs> Very happy about that find. So let's move on to the other two trays. The wooden one, it has a lot of damage to it. It has a lot of water stains. It's very roady and gross. So it just needs a really good cleanup and then to seal in those stains to make sure that they're not gonna bleed through my next steps of um, paint or stain or whatever it chooses to do. And then that needs to be sealed in. So I'm going to be using my Rust-Oleum 2X Clear Matte and giving that a good spray. And if that doesn't work, shellac works really well to keep um, stains in, in wood pieces. But it just so works out that the Rust-Oleum works well. I did two coats on it and then I was ready to move on. Now for this tray, I wanted to keep it um, a similar type of like grayish color, but I want it to be a lot darker. My original plan was to take some of my black acrylic paint and some water and create basically like a stain and put that over the entire top so that we can keep the details and like character of this piece. But I did not like the way that that looked. So I let that dry completely and I went ahead and painted the entire thing in my, with my black acrylic paint. Now I want some of those details to pop back out. So I'm going to be doing a Waverly Clear Wax mixed with white acrylic paint, um, just a little bit um, because their white wax is more of like a creamy color and I wanted more of a pure white. So I just made my own um, and just mixed it together and I'm going to be brushing that on. Now, I did not do the step in between that I usually do where I take a clear coat, either my spray or a polyacrylic and I seal in the black paint um, because I wanted this to be like a darker kind of color. It didn't matter to me too much if the colors muddied together a little bit. So if you are doing something where you're painting it black and you're painting a lighter color, especially white on top or doing a wax on top, make sure that you take that extra time to seal in that black paint. That way it doesn't uh, muddy up the layer that you're going to do on top of it. All right, so I'm just taking my wax brush here um, and dipping it in, getting off a lot of the excess and just whisking it and painting this entire tray with the wax and then I'm using a paper towel to wipe it back off. Now, if you've never used the wax before, um, the less wax that you want to come off, you just let it sit a little longer. I was painting on one section and then go ahead and wiping it off because I didn't want the entire thing to be waxed. I just wanted those, those inlets of the grain to kind of pop out and be shown. And I did that over the entire tray. 
let it dry and I love how it turned out. I feel like it, it brought that character back to life in it. I think it looks really good and I'm really happy that I could save this tray. Now for the next tray, I'm going to do a little bit more steps on it. After I got it cleaned up and ready to go, I'm going to be using my Sage Chalk Paint. It's from Folk Art. It's a beautiful color. I'm going to use that, just water it down slightly to thin it out just a little bit so that it goes on nice and smooth with a very soft bristled brush. Now I'm just going to paint it on everywhere and then what I like to do when I need it to be a nice smooth surface is I paint in all one direction and then after it dries I paint the opposite direction. I did three coats on this, I let it dry really well and then I took my Krylon gold paint pen and I traced around the edges um, of the top edge. It was originally gold and I loved that look and gold goes so good with this color that I'm using. So I did it around those edges and then I decided that it would probably look pretty good if I go ahead and do the handles as well. And so I did the handles and then I did do a little bit of overlap from the top rim to the face of the um, tray just because I felt like that made it look a little bit more complete and finished. And then I gave that plenty of time to dry and I sealed it all in with polycrylic. After it was all sealed in, I wanted to add a little bit of flair to it. Um, I felt like it was a little plain and I had a feeling it would be. So I had on hand some floral, goodness, I had on hand some floral scrapbook paper. And I'm just going to go through, pick out the bundles of flowers that I like, the leaves and things, cut them out. And then I'm going to Mod Podge them on. Now I'm going to use Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge. That way whenever it sets, it will be um, waterproof. And if somebody spills something in this tray, it's not just going to ruin the whole design. So I cut those all out. I kind of played around, laid things out how I thought I wanted them to look. And then I Mod Podge them on. If you've never Mod Podged, you want to um, either paint the surface that you're sticking your paper to or the back of the surface. Um, I... I do it different ways just depending on um, and then put it down lay it flat try to get as much of the air out from underneath and then you mod podge over the top as well I did that with all of my pieces just being careful kind of laying things out some of the flowers I cut out and layered myself um, to make a design that I thought fit and went well and then I took my mod podge and I went over the entire bottom of the tray I did this because I wanted to make sure it had the same sheen and it doesn't look the same as the polycrylic. You can see where it's kind of shinier in some spots and not. So I just took it, did a nice smooth layer over the entire thing and let that dry. Um, another thing I do do with my Mod Podge sometimes, um, it's because it's really thick and it can leave those really heavy lines or be hard to smooth out. I add just a little bit of water to that as well. Um, just to help it go on a little bit smoother and as far as I know to my knowledge I haven't had any issues with it not working properly or not sealing properly or anything like that. So now that that is done these two pieces or I guess three <laughs> these three trays are all finished. I think they're super cute. Um, two of them were super easy flips. I just I love trays and that you can do so much with them. I hope that you guys like them. Can you guys let me know below in the comments? Let me know what you could have or would have done differently. Let me know how you think they turned out. And I'm going to take you in for a closer look and see you next time.